What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. This one is called Mysterion Arises. Obviously we're picking up with everything Kuhn related at the moment, so without wasting too much time, let's get into this, let's go. I am Mysterion. Mm. Though only nine years old, I dedicate my life to helping people when I am not in school. For months now, I've been He's nine. Town from crime. But now, something has happened which even I cannot... Battles help. with Professor Chaos. The BP oil company has drilled and caused a spill in the Gulf like no other. Oh, damn. The president of BP apologized. This Real guy. Sorry. But they drilled again <laughs> and tore open a portal into another dimension. Oh, yeah, they did. Fucking yes. demons were coming out of that. BP tried to solve the problem by drilling on the moon. But instead, they caused the Dark Lord Cthulhu to emerge. Oh, fuck. He came from the moon? Oh, my God. This guy again. How is this even allowed to air? With other superheroes in my neighborhood to help save the Gulf, but even the other heroes do not know that unlike them, I do have a power, a power they will now begin to understand, and all will know who and what I truly am. Oh, oh, <laughs> Mysterio rises. It's literally like Batman, isn't it? As America wonders what happened to Captain Hindsight, some Colorado kids are being a little superhuman themselves. Oh, Captain Hindsight is gone. Themselves, Coon and friends. And they've been baking and selling lemon bars to help aid those affected in the Gulf crisis. We believe that every little bit helps. Their little True. super club consists of seven young heroes. Toolshed, the human kite. Mysterion. <laughs> Mysterion. Tupperware. Mosquito. Mosquito. Very <laughs> cool. Where's Jimmy, bro? I've not seen Boys Jimmy yet. That there used to also be a hero named the Coon actually in the group, but they let him go because he was being quote a dick. <laughs> Mysterion, if Cartman's gone, why are we still calling ourselves Coon and Friends? I was gonna say that, literally. This is Cartman off beyond belief, and I find that extremely funny. Oh, wow, well, really? Passengers waiting for Flight 73 to New Orleans. Cthulhu has shed on the runway at the New Orleans airport, and will be delayed at least another hour. Oh, my days. Traveling sometimes is hell, man. When things are delayed, you just trying to go back home or go to your destination and everything is cancelled. It's hell. To get to New Orleans now. Yes, yes, I am the Coon. I've heard of that. You have? I saw on TV that superhero group that's helping with the Gulf spill, Coon and Friends. Actually, I'm no longer with Coon and Friends. I work on my own now. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Do you know Mintberry Crunch? What's he like? Oh, so the people actually. Oh, I actually I thought he was gonna fucking try whack her, but oh my god, I didn't think he'd actually go for it. Girl villain fought with all her might, but the Coon was too much for her. This fight would not be the last the Coon fought. Next stop, New Orleans. Jeez, Cartman, bro. This guy needs to go to prison, mate. Nah, what the hell? Well then, perhaps we should return to our secret base and bake some more. Tana! It looks dodgy. I'll take ten lemon bars. Ten, yes, Oh, I judged the book by its cover, my bad. You'll never stop him, you know. Oh, he is dodgy. Stop who? The Great One. Cthulhu. Yeah, he's a fucking witch. And soon all will be under his rule. It has all been foretold in the Necronomicon. The hell? Hail Cthulhu! The darkness of the mythos is finally here. Jeez, that means he actually takes the kids as a serious threat to tell them that, because they're just kids. But he's a weirdo, so. What's the mythos? I don't know, but I think we better find out. Damn. All right, superheroes, back to our secret base. Who the hell's Mintberry Crunch? The rage. <laughs> what the hell? Oh! Whoever did this to our base was looking for something. Don't anybody move! Wait, Cartman wouldn't do that to his own house, would he? Yeah, that superhero's trying to blackmail me. Oh, oh Captain Hindsight. Captain Hindsight. Once a reporter for the national news. Yeah, we know, goddammit. Always three trusty companions, shoulda, coulda, and woulda. Oh my god! <laughs> hindsight that has saved so many. I mean, surely this has got to be like what top three most useless superpowers? Surely, right? Top three. Because if you got the power of hindsight. To be able to tell people what they should have done, you're not helping. You're just inputting where your input really isn't necessary. Like, yeah, fair enough. We could have done that, but it's done now. So fuck off. You're not helping. <laughs> Am I missing something? I don't know. Please, sir, we don't know what you mean. You got pictures of me. Having oh yeah. Sex with Courtney Love. He's a dumbass as well. Uh, uh, but I, but but the crew said if I took the pictures, he, he'd let me go home, and, and I've missed like four days of school now because I was. All right, enough. Oh my go God, Boba. That isn't Courtney Love. Our former member, the Coon, tricked you. It's As if you wouldn't remember, though. Look, dude, we don't need to play superhero anymore. We can just go home. No! 
know! Because I could realize I should have killed you all! Then do it! Pull the trigger, you Oh my pussy. god, he's probably gonna do it? I'll deal with this prick. Oh, <laughs> with this prick. Exist. See ya, Kitty. My mom did tell me I have to be home by five. I said it's fine, just go! Damn, everyone just did. If you wanna, like, play basketball or something. Oh my god. Oh, he's climbing to talk to Cthulhu. While everyone's running away. If Carmen gets Cthulhu on his side, everyone is screwed. Yes, it is me, the Keen. <laughs> Keen. Don't worry, I'm actually not here to fight you. Though I am a superhero and you are a dark god from another dimension, perhaps we can work together. Perhaps, perhaps. But there's a group of superhumans <gasps> I do, who are going to stop at nothing to stop you. Oh, that's got his attention. Is he going to write them out? He's going to write them out. It's Cartman. Good, I have your attention. They reside in Colorado, and they are fucking assholes, <laughs> and they all deserve to be sent into a dark oblivion. Oh, you can gee. do that, right? Send people into a dark oblivion? Because that's what those buttholes deserve. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez, the lengths Eric will go to are unbelievable. Is yeah, he going there now? Then Colorado is that way. Oh. Where are you going? God damn it, why don't Dark Lords fucking listen? <laughs> Even if you have any idea what a curse it is to have perfect 2020 hindsight, don't we all have perfect 2020 hindsight? Soon as something bad happens, maybe not all of us. Let me tell you something about curses, Buttlicker. Oh, because there are some superpowers that make yours look like nothing. Trust me, I know. Oh, hey, Kenny has the power to not die, pretty much, right? What is your power? I can't die. Damn. I don't know what your thoughts are guys about not being able to die but i would actually like to die what? not not like that but i wouldn't want the power to not be able to die you know what i mean i feel like there's another phase after this existence we're in now that we're gonna we're gonna go to and if i have the power to not die then i won't be able to see whether that's where i came from whether where where i'm going or something like that so kenny's power is a fucking curse imagine being a human forever bruh i mean there's a there's a point you just be like i've had enough can, can someone take me out so I can maybe go back home, you know? And the worst part, nobody even remembers me dying. Really? I go to school the next day, and everyone is just like, Oh, hey, Kenny. You want to whine about curses hindsight? You're talking to the wrong fucking cowboy. Damn. I mean, he ain't lying. Yeah, he ain't lying, bro. The president of BP. Oh, this butthole again. He's going to apologize again. I would like to say, what should I do? Oh, he switched I it up. Admit we've made mistakes. What should I do? Oh, piss off. What should I do? Whoa. What should I do? What should I do? I am not a role model. What the fuck? Why is everyone else having Seriously, a thing? Should I get back in the chair? Remove my powers and just go back to being a simple reporter? Should I admit I was wrong? Ask for everyone's forgiveness and go back to my original team? He would never yeah, do that. Screw that. Oh. I'm gonna keep being a fucking dick. <laughs> it's in your bones, Carl, man. It is used by cults around the world, most notably the cult of Cthulhu. Oh. Uh -huh. That's the cult the creepy man talked about, heroes. Ten arrested in South Park for cultish activity. Oh, there's a doji guy. Like ten years ago. Dude, Mysterion, it's your parents. Uh, what? Are they part of it? Are they part of the cult? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is that kid his voice? The daughter. What the fuck? I, I mean... <laughs> What the fuck? This sounds interesting. Cthulhu is at rest. Now is my chance to make a move. How did you survive going in there, bro? Too forceful with the dark god, but sometimes a coon must be cuddly and cute. Oh my god! Need to try and manipulate the most evil thing in all the universe. Damn. Good luck. What is he doing? I'm quite impressed with how they've managed to have this 3D like animation with the usual South Park 2D animation. It seems quite seamless in a way where it shouldn't work, but it does. Oh. Surely you got sneezed away to oblivion after that. Oh. My name is the Little King. What is your name? Oh, God. Imagine how scary that would be, bro. Tummy rub. So you're telling me a dark lord is gonna get fooled by a nine-year-old Eric Cartman? <laughs> South Park, eh? <gasps> oh God, he's back! Oh my it's days! Kid again. We treat our kids better, and we don't beat each other up as much. And we gave our sons allowances and stopped getting high every night. 
Oh. I'm, not here I'm glad he's done that, Kenny. No, we weren't in that stupid group. They just used to offer free beer at their meetings, so we would go. Oh, okay, fair enough. What Makes sense. At those meetings? Trust us, we don't remember. I, I know it sounds hard to believe, but we were actually really drunk the entire time. <laughs> hard to believe. Hard to believe it all. These people still meet? Where? Where they always did. Jim McElroy's house. They used to meet every Friday night. I think they still do. Jim McElroy? I thought it was Jimbo for a second, but it's not. Oh, it's gone. They're gonna pick up the pipe. Did that really just happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Breaking news here in the Gulf, Tom. The dark ancient god. Oh, Commons recruited Cthulhu. We intend to bring change and fight injustice as the all new Coon and Friends. And anybody else using that name for their benefit is breaking the law. <laughs> oh, what's that? There is another group using our trademark name? Well, I guess we have a right to banish them to a dark oblivion. Jeez. I mean, this makes you question if Carmen actually even likes his friends. I don't know. They, does he consider them his friends? Because he's literally about to use a dark lord in Cthulhu to kill his so-called friends. So I'm sure maybe most of you guys might know better than I do. But does this guy actually even like his friends? I'm I'm genuinely like curious at this point. Oh, this is where the meeting's happening. Oh, it's the same guy. We waited a long time for this day. It is time to party! <laughs> Are there any chicks there, or is it just dudes? Oh my god, look! Back row! Aren't those the goth kids? Of course the goth kids are there. so freaking stoked that Cthulhu's gonna squash all the happy-go-lucky conformists. Yeah, I just hope he puts an end to the fucking Disney Channel. Oh my god. Goth kids worship Cthulhu. Even death may die! Jeez, isn't that Randy's co-worker? Even death may die? Rumor has it he got sick of it all, went back to his chair and removed all his power. Oh, so he actually did it. Are you Captain Hindsight? Ah! How the hell would Captain Hindsight help you, bro? Like, you just got shot. I mean, he's going to tell you what, you should have moved out of the way. Dark Lord Cthulhu's going to make us go to... <laughs> Who the F and H is that? <laughs> what does it mean? That is not dead. Which he just dropped from there. Hold on. That? Bro, what this guy is a menace. That is not dead, which can eternal lie. It means Cthulhu is going to get rid of all the posers and make everything cool and black and stuff. <laughs> it's going to be like a Nine Inch Nails concert. Guys, I actually find the God Kids so cool. I, they're just so chill, bro. Like, they're just like, take it or leave it. This is us. Fuck you if you don't like it. I don't care. I like the God Kids, man. Yeah, so go home and put your underwear back inside your pants, poser. Oh my God. Nobody's stopping Cthulhu now. All will be sadness. Oh, jeez. Life will become death. And I will watch the crimson blood leak from your neck. Dude. Dude, that little kid is hardcore goth. <laughs> hardcore goth. The child is now. Oh, my jeez. Cthulhu sees all. Where the fuck all. did you come from? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Come on, Mysterion. What the fuck is this theme song, bro? I mean, Carmen must be the darker Dark Lord because if he can manipulate the Dark Lord, then that Dark Lord isn't such a Dark Lord after all, I guess. The hell? Is that a Jewish synagogue? Oh my god, hippies. <laughs> okay, Carmen doesn't like hippies. So he's doing his bidding for him, is he? Oh my god. Just hold still. Oh, we'll fuck. Over quickly. Let him go. Is that Mosquito? Who the fuck is Mittenberry Crush? Go, dude, or else we'll totally tell our parents on you. It's a little late for that. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> oh, he can't die anyway, oh, but. God. Oh, my God. They, they killed Kenny. You bastards! Does anyone ever go to the police, like, with Kenny? Who so doesn't wake up in his bedroom? Oh my Yo, goodness. Kenny, what'd you run away for? We gotta fight these guys! Run away? Yeah, come on, get your costume on, lazy ass! Let's go! Oh get my Kenny, god. That is a curse. Oh my goodness. I find it weird that I feel sorry for Kenny for the fact that he can't die. Because I imagine he actually wants to die. You know, because he just can't be bothered to keep doing this over and over and over and over and over again. This sh this charade. He's basically, he's trapped in this loop for eternity. That sucks, bro. 
So he's probably the best person to beat Cthulhu then, isn't he? I mean, if he keeps dying from Cthulhu, eventually you might figure out a weakness and then take out Cthulhu for good. Unless Cthulhu also is like immortal, then the earth is truly screwed and everyone is truly fucked. But that was good, man. That was a good episode. You know, I think we got a lot of character development for certain characters and it feels like it was more so like a setup to what's coming next. So enjoyed it, you know, and really did enjoy it. So, um, yeah, if you guys did as well, like and subscribe. And uh, the third part will be coming out very soon or rather the next part, which I believe is the finale. So stay tuned. Have a great day and peace.